Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Awesome Miner and Mining Pool Hub to dual mine Ethereum and Sia coin. This will be a little bit more advanced than the previous videos in the series, but I think you can keep up by now. Let's get on with it. Okay, first thing to do is grab a copy of Awesome Miner. I'll put a link in the description. Go over here to the download page and download Awesome Miner Installer. This will be the full program, free to use. You can install up to two miners here. Download that and install it. The next step will be to go over to miningpoolhub.com and sign up. Make sure you choose a username that's easy to remember because we will be typing it in again later on when we set up Awesome Miner. After you install Awesome Miner, you'll be presented with the new miner wizard. So we're going to go ahead and add new miner by clicking next. And then we're going to choose managed miner. Go ahead and click on next. All right, we're going to give it a name. We'll call it miner one. You can leave miner host at local and don't worry about device profile. That can be none. Go ahead and click on next. All right, so at the top here, we're just going to go ahead and specify our algorithm, which is Ethereum. You can go ahead and put the coin in if you like. Um, this is pretty much optional, but I like to identify every coin that I'm mining. Uh, that way I can ensure that Awesome Miner is going to give me accurate readouts for how much profit I'm making. Underneath software here, click the down arrow and then choose Claymore's Dual Ethereum Miner. All right, that's going to be the one that does both coins at once. All right, and you see here where it says Dual Mode? We're going to go ahead and click the down arrow and set that to Ethereum plus Sia. Okay, and the last line here that says pool, if you just installed Awesome Miner, nothing will appear there. It'll say none. I already have a few pools installed here. So what we're going to do here is um, add an Ethereum pool. So we're going to go ahead and click on new, all right, and then click new pool. All right, we're going to give it a little description here at the top. We'll call it Ethereum dash MPH. So I know that's for mining pool hub. And now it's asking for the server URL. So we're going to have to go get that from miningpoolhub.com. So let's go over here to the website. From the main page, you'll see a link on the left for pools. And we'll just go down here to the Ethereum pool. Click on that. All right. And most of the information that we'll need will be right here on the main page. You'll see that they've got three regions here. So just make sure that you use the server address for your region. Okay, I'm in the US, so we'll be using this one right here. So I want to go ahead and select that and copy it. All right, and we'll paste it right here where it says server URL. All right, but we're not done yet. We have to add a port number. So go ahead and put a colon here. All right, we'll go back to the website and we have to find a port number. Now, most of the time, the one that is shown here at the top is usually the port that would work but for some reason i haven't been able to get this port number to work for ethereum so i just scroll down here to where it says um, eth proxy and I, I use this port number here which is the one that works so 20536 so that's the one that i'm going to suggest we use right here all right so there is the port number now we can go down and add our worker name our worker name is the username that we chose for mining pool hub okay so mine is goose tech all right then you put a dot and the name of your worker so we'll just call it miner one all right the worker password is x all right and right here under optional settings where it says coin we're going to go ahead and put ethereum here Scroll up, there it is, Ethereum. And very important, even though we've already given a worker name and a worker password, we have to do it again here where it says wallet address. This is just the way Awesome Miner plugs things in for the command line, it's required. So just retype your username. So in my case, goose tech dot miner one. Okay, very important, make sure you do that. All right, click on okay. All right, so we're not done yet. We have to add another pool for Sia coin. All right, so let's go ahead and once again, click on new, click on new pool. All right, and we'll do the same thing again, Sia and dash MPH. That way we know once again, mining pool hub. And let's go grab the server information from the same page. All right, we're just gonna scroll up a little bit. All right, you see right here where it says Claymore dual miner. So these are the settings if you were to run the, the mining program from the command line. All right, a lot of people make a script file or a batch file and they 
put the command line in that file so that everything runs automatically. Well, what we're doing is going to take just a little piece of that command line and plug it into Awesome Miner because Awesome Miner does all the work for us behind the scenes. All right, so what we need here is if we follow this command line, you can see all the way up to the point where it says dash D pull. That means dual pull, as in two pulls, Ethereum and Sia coin. And then you see right after that, it says stratum plus TCP. This is the address, the server address for Sia coin right there. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and copy that and the whole thing, including the port number, all right? And put that right here where it says server URL. All right, go ahead, paste that there. All right, worker name is the same. Your username dot worker name. All right, worker password is X. And then here on the coin, we're gonna scroll all the way up to the top where it says Blake 2B. There it is, see a coin, all right? And then wallet address, very important. Make sure you put this in here, goose tech dot minor one. So you put your username dot worker here where it says wallet address. All right, go ahead, click on okay. All right, but we're not done yet. Now what we have to do is group those two coins together in their own pool group, okay? So we're gonna click on new one more time, and then you see where it says new pool group? Click that, all right? And then in the description, we're gonna call this ETH-SIA, all right? So we know that's the two coins together. For the algorithm, just go ahead and put this on unspecified slash multi-algorithm. All right, and then make sure you select the two pools that you just set up. If you just installed Awesome Miner, you don't have any other pools. I have a bunch of them I already put in here. But the two that we just added are this one, Ethereum, and Sia Coin. All right, so make sure you put a checkbox next to each one and click on OK. All right, and you see how the pool now says ETH-SIA? It set that automatically, all right? So we're good to go. We can go ahead and click on Next. All right, we'll click on Finish. Very good. All right. So let's go back over here to Mining Pool Hub because there's just a couple of the things we need to look at. First of all is the wallet for Ethereum. So underneath here where it says My Account, we wanna go ahead and click on Wallet. All right, and then this is where um, any of the Ethereum that you mine will show up. It's your online wallet. So in the bottom left here where it says Normal Wallet, you'll see the numbers here. This is the total balance that you have mined of Ethereum. Okay, and what you'll need to do is get an Ethereum wallet, and you know I, there are a ton of different wallets out there, so I'm not going to you know get into too much detail about which one to use. You just have to find one that's good for you. Maybe something that also has Sia in it, so that's way you can store both coins on that same wallet. All right, you can do a, a little Google search to find which wallets offer both, right? Um, or if you want to keep them separate, that's totally fine. Um, I do recommend getting something external, you know, so if you want to go straight to Ethereum's website and download their wallet, that's a great way to go. It'll be the most secure. Um, once you have the wallet address, take the receive address, copy it, and paste it up here where it says payment address. All right, and because you can set this up to automatically withdraw for you so you don't have to keep coming in here. So. Um, Put your payment address and then the next line here is the payout threshold okay so you can set this to whatever you want and when it hits that number it'll automatically withdraw and and transfer it over to your external wallet okay go ahead and put in the four digit pin and click on update account all right and then if you go over here to the left hand side and click the mining pool hub logo uh, we get back to the main page now on the pools section let's go all the way down here and go to see a coin all right and then we're going to do the same exact thing for the see a coin wallet okay but do it with the see a coin wallet address all right you can't mix match the addresses make sure that you you have both addresses the way they need to be all right put put the same payment address here set your threshold and that will also then work the same way as the ethereum wallet does okay so once all that's set up in copesthetic we'll go ahead and minimize this and you're ready to start mining. So let's click on Miner 1 and then click Start.
Okay, so far so good. You can see it's already hashing away at both coins. It lists the ETH and the SC, and you got the hash rate on both of those. Now, if we go over here to Awesome Miner, you can see the readout here for the hash rate on Ethereum. And then over here where it says coin, you'll see Ethereum plus SIA coin. So that means that this per day figure here is actually factoring in the value of both coins. So your profit is gonna be the most accurate when you set it up like this. Now, I would like to show you another way that you can set this up to dual mine. It's a little bit more of a hack, but the whole reason I'm even suggesting it is because if you're like me and you do profit switching most of the time, but you wanna be able to dual mine when you, whenever you do Ethereum, um, this is a way that you can set it up so that even though the reporting won't be like this, it won't actually say Ethereum and Sia coin, you'll be still mining both, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and then we're gonna delete it altogether. So I wanna go ahead and remove this, all right? So now we'll start from scratch. This is gonna be like a new profit miner. So we'll click on new miner, click on next, click on managed profit miner, all right? And then click next and we'll call it miner two. <laughs> all right, and then um, for this one here, it gives you an option to um, choose a profit switching profile. So in this case, you're gonna want to set this to your particular graphics card. So if you have an AMD card, then use the AMD setting, or if you have Nvidia, use the Nvidia setting, okay? I'm gonna leave it on AMD and click on next. All right, and now we're done with that. Okay, so remember how we set up the Ethereum mine, uh, the Ethereum pool rather. All right, we're gonna do the same exact thing. All right, but we're going to make it separate because we can't really edit the one that we already set up. It'll, it'll mess, I don't wanna mess with the uh, settings on that one. All right, we're gonna give it a, a whole new one. All right, so we're gonna click on new pool. All right, we're gonna call this one um, Ethereum dash Sia dash MPH, okay? And let's go back to mining pool because we're gonna, we're gonna need the server URL for that, all right? So I'm gonna go back here over to the Ethereum page. All right, back down here in the command line. All right, now I'm gonna grab this address. All right, copy that and paste it. All right, now remember we have to change that port number because it doesn't work with this one. So we're gonna put a, a 20536, that's the one that's gonna work. All right, for our worker name, we're going to use same as before. So your mining pool have username dot and then miner two. All right, put the password in, put the coin in. So in this case, it's just gonna be Ethereum because we don't, they don't actually give you an option for two different coins. All right, now, this is where we get a little bit more advanced. So we'll go over here to <laughs> shock the advanced section. You see where this little box is? It says add pool specific command line parameters. All right, so what we're gonna do, see how this is the command line. Remember I was talking about that before. So we're gonna go ahead and grab where it says dash D pool, see that? All right, we're gonna copy that. We're gonna copy this whole thing all the way to the end. All right, so basically from right here where it says dash D pool all the way to the end. All right, copy that. All right, go back over here to Awesome Miner and paste it in. All right, so that's the whole line that we need all right, but we have to change something. You see right here where it says username dot worker name? Well, we have to replace that with our own, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this part and put in my own username dot worker name, okay? Dot minor two, okay? So now we've got the whole line, dash D pool, stratum plus TCP, here's the server address, dash D wall, and then your username dot worker name, dash D PSW, which is X, that's our password, and then dash D coin. This is telling the mining program what coin, and then the SC means SIA coin, all right? So that's the whole line that we need. Now we're good to go. Click on okay. All right, so here's our miner. Now let's suppose we wanna set this to just dual mine Ethereum and SIA um, with the little hack that we did, okay? So let's go up here to where it says options. All right, go over here where it says profit switching. All right, and then make sure the top one here, enable managed profit switching, it has a checkbox on it. Make sure nothing else is checked except for custom pools. We're gonna put a little check mark here and then where this says select pool, we're gonna go find that um, Ethereum SIA coin 
which is right here. See, this is Ethereum-SIA-MPH. Okay, that's the one we just set up. Click on OK. All right. And then provided you did all the previous stuff of setting up your wallets and everything, we'll, we'll go ahead and click on Start. And then you'll see that we're pretty much going to get the same readout. Let me minimize this. See right here? Pretty much the same exact readout. It says dual mining mode enabled Ethereum plus Sia coin. All right, because we pretty much just passed additional command line parameters to the mining software through that box on the advanced tab. All right, and it's doing the exact same thing. But do notice this. It's only reporting the amount for Ethereum. It's not adding on that extra 30 cents or whatever for Sia coin. Okay, so this does not give you the most accurate readout in terms of your profit, but at the very least, you can still say I'm mining both coins at once. So I hope you found this helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up and be on the lookout for some additional videos describing how you can continue to mine different coins with Awesome Miner. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.